Hey guys, it's me, Brooke. I'm back at it. My second YouTube video. Um, I wanted to do a little product review. I'm sort of a freak about products. I buy everything. I like to try it out and let my clients and friends know what I suggest for all different products. So I have been obsessing with Bare Minerals right now. I would consider it probably one of my most favorite makeup lines right now of all time. So there are actually two different Bare Minerals products that I've recently purchased and I'm going to review those today. The first one is the Bare Minerals Blush in Faux Pop. You can see this super cute little box that it comes in and you just open it up on top and it's adorable. Anyways, and then you just take it out and you have this super cute little Bare Minerals Compact um, and it has the name on the back. I don't know if you can really see that. Faux Pas is the color that I chose. Um, it's just a cute little like pinkish corally color. But it comes with a cute little brush, which I love. I'm wearing it right now. The lighting's actually pretty bad in here, but it's just a like a really pink, pinkish warm color. I really like it. Warms up my face. Bare Minerals is really great. I feel like it goes on super easy. I have the driest skin of all time. And so I feel like things settle in my lines, fine lines. And I don't feel like Bare Minerals products does that. So I'm definitely all about the Bare Minerals. The second Bare Minerals product I have been trying came in my Ipsy bag. I don't know if you guys have heard about Ipsy. It's basically one of those monthly subscriptions you can sign up for, kind of like Birchbox. Um, some friends at work recommended this one. Uh, this month came in this super cute hot pink bag. Um, it just comes with a few different samples from different companies and one of the samples I got was Bare Minerals 5-in-1, you guys. I don't even know where to start with this. It is amazing. You can use it to brighten, to smooth, you can use it as a concealer depending on what color you buy. Uh, the one that I got in the mail was just like a light tan. You can use it as eyeshadow, which is what I have been doing. I just put a little in the corners of my eyes to brighten it up. I tend to have dark circles. Um, and then I just use it all over my eyelid, kind of as a primer, um, and I'll put a little sparkly shadow on over it. So believe it or not, mm -hmm, I went and bought a full size. I got it in blushing pink. It's just a little bit more pink than the one they sent me in the mail. They have a couple different colors you can get. But the texture of it is amazing. It's super creamy. It goes on great. It doesn't crease in your eyes like some primers do. But... Again, Bare Minerals nailed it with this stuff. I'm not one to really get obsessed with stuff. I'll like come and go. I'm not really super loyal to any products, but Bare Minerals, it's got my vote. The next product also came in my Ipsy bag. I've been using Mary Kay bronzer and I love it. It has great pigment shows up, goes on well, but Ipsy sent me a bronzer from Pop Beauty, which I had never heard of, but I love it. It's amazing. I feel like the pigment's really dark, which I like. I just put it on after I put on my blush, just a little bit over my cheekbones, drag it up to my hairline, a little bit on my chest. I love the shimmer and how it makes me look like I am tan, even though I'm not. So there's that Pop Beauty bronzer. It's Sunkissed Bronzer Secret Sunshine. I will link to all the products I talk about below the video so you can check them out. But I definitely recommend this one if you haven't tried it. It's very affordable compared to other bronzers that I've seen. So if you're looking for a bronzer, try this one. Okay. So, I'm actually going to compare two products against each other on this video. I know I mentioned that I use a spot treatment gel in my 
skincare routine. For a very long time, I have been using Mary Kay acne treatment, and I recently tried Philosophy's Clear Days Ahead. A lot of beauty blogs recommend Clear Days Ahead, so I was like, mm, I'll try it. I've been using them back and forth. I tend to break out on my forehead. So, you guys, I know, but Mary Kay won. I think I've been reading the ingredients, and I think the reason why is the Mary Kay acne treatment has 5% benzoyl peroxide, which attacks your zits. It dries them out. It's amazing. And the philosophy only has 2% salicylic acid. So the Mary Kay version has more of the stuff that dries out the zits. Clear days ahead, just it's not fast enough. This one dries out my zits overnight, this one takes a couple days, so Mary Kay for the win in my opinion on that one, if you're on the market for an acne treatment cream. I highly recommend them. If you get those little like annoying whiteheads or zits wherever and you just have somewhere to be, they're great. Just put on, sleep, dries it out. Alright, so we're getting close to the end of my little review list, don't you worry. As you can see, I jump around from product line to product line. MAC, everybody loves MAC. This is one of the only products I have of theirs. I use their pot eyeliner, which I also love. It's very amazing and creamy. It goes on super easy. But this one is a skin finish mineralize. Kind of, I guess you, I could say it's like bare minerals. That's why I like it. But... I went into the store, I was looking for a highlighter just to put above my um, crease and in my, you know, inner eye crease just to brighten it up. And the girl was like, try this stuff. It is like a giant eyeshadow. And I'm like, okay, it'll last me like seven years. I don't have to buy anymore. So I bought it. And it is perfect for brightening up your eyes and I will sweep a little bit across my cheekbones and on my chest just to give me a little shimmer and I highly recommend it. This one is called Soft and Gentle. I assume that that's the color. I know that they have some different ones. They have like a swirly one that has some bronzer and you know this one's just plain pink and shimmery and I love it so Yes, I definitely recommend the MAC Skin Finish for anybody looking for a little highlighter on their eyes. And if you want it to last the rest of your life, this is it. All right. To the Garnier Fructis Anti-Puff Eye Roller. Jessica Jane pointed me on to this. I feel like I'm getting real little wrinkles under my eyes. Pushing 26 years old, I think that's pretty normal. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on an eye cream, so I sprung for the $15 stuff. You get what you pay for. I'm not going to recommend it. I know some people that like it. Maybe my skin's just a little on the wrinkly side and I need something a little bit more advanced. I like the way it feels. It has a really, like... It's like a metal ball and it's really cool and cold. Um, but I don't feel like it's doing anything, so I probably won't buy it again. So if you've been thinking about the anti-puff eye roller, that's just my opinion, but I don't really like it. So there you go on the anti-puff eye roller. My last product on my list I just kind of picked it up randomly. It was in the Allure Magazine's Best of Beauty for 2013. It is a polishing mask with charcoal and black sugar. It's kind of scary looking. It's full on black. I'm not a giant fan of the smell, but aside from smell, I have really liked the results I've had with it. It's like really grainy, like sugar scrub. So it's kind of like microderm, you're going to get that dead skin off with it. Um, and the charcoal is supposed to brighten your skin and really get rid of your blackheads. So I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin and the blackheads are on my nose with it. I definitely recommend 
this if you just want a really good exfoliant and something that's going to, you know, polish up your face. You just let it sit on for a few minutes after you scrub it in just to kind of let the charcoal work and pull out the impurities. Um, it's super cheap, which I don't tend to go towards cheap for my skincare, but I had been hearing so much about the charcoal products that I wanted to give it a try. So I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. If you've been thinking about trying a mask like this, try it because it's great and it's ginormous so it'll last forever. You only use just a little bit. So there you guys go. I hope that my little product review was helpful for you and that I maybe pointed you in the right direction if you were on the fence about something. Um, comment below if you have any questions for me and I will surely answer. Thank you for watching.